Welcome to Scania Studio. Around the world we see that cities are taking action and putting higher demands on transport solutions, becoming more efficient, having higher capacity and lower carbon emissions. And last year Scania Sustainable City Solutions was created. Anders Grundstörmer, you are having the team working with this. And why uh, is Scania focusing on, on this area right now? Uh, the key trend is that you see that in the inner cities, the politicians and the civil servants, they talk very much about electrification. Uh, while we come out to the suburbs or intercity applications, there we talk more with the politicians about alternative fuels. And that happens to be the biggest applications for, for Scania. City applications is actually the smallest application if you take like, like buses. Anders, what does this mean for urban people? Yeah, you can say that the urbanization trend, which we know will happen and where is a consensus in the world that it will happen, uh, means that we have to change our behaviors. So that means that uh, cities will grow so much so it's simply not possible for you to take your own car when you go in the, in the city or travel around the city. So we have to make an urban transit system so good and so efficient that uh, it will be normal for people to use the urban transit instead of taking your own car. So uh, we have to create systems that takes people from door to door in a, a sustainable, quiet, comfortable and quick way. And that means that we will use our big products on the big routes in the cities but to solve the last mile con uh, connection, so meaning door to door, we use smaller vehicles and even electrical bicycles in our system. Can you give some examples of, th of the kind of solutions uh, we are working on at Scania? Yeah, <coughs> at the moment we, we drive uh, projects concerning off-peak deliveries. So one problem with congestion, for instance, is that uh, cities or, or trucks going into the city for distribution, they are allowed to go in at 6 o'clock in the morning. And what happens then? Yeah, people go to the work or to the school or wherever they are going. So it creates uh, a, a big problem with the infrastructure we use for the cities today. So the off-peak delivery means that we will start uh, this distributing goods into the city and waste out of the city after the peak hour in the morning. But if we should use then our trucks and our tools and equipments for log city logistics off-peak, for instance during uh, evenings and nights, it means that it has to be silent. And not only the vehicle must be silent, but also the logistical equipment that they use to move things in and out of the truck, etc., must be silent. So that's a few examples. We also run uh, uh, tests with autonomous uh, trucks and autonomous buses. And you will see more projects like that coming up during 2018. What would you say are, are some hurdles in making this happen? When we talk about going electrified, we talk about uh, going connected to traffic lights and, and, and uh, using dynamic lane separation. And uh, in the end, we talk autonomous vehicles. A big thing there is uh, the legal framework, for instance. So we have tests ongoing now with, uh, with mobility as a service solutions in cities like Helsinki and uh, in, in Birmingham. Uh, and uh, when they introduced that, uh, they needed to change 130 laws and regulations. Most of them connected to personal integrity. So I would say that uh, uh, the, tech the technology will be a challenge as such, but I think we know how to handle that at Scania. Uh, but also the politicians has to be uh, prepared to change the legal framework to make it possible to run uh, uh, connected and, uh, and uh, autonomous in the future. Thank you so much Anders Grunstömer yeah. for joining us today. Thank you. And thank you for watching Scania Studio.